Warning. This video is satirical. If you are easily offended please direct your concerns elsewhere. Enjoy the entertainment. Say what I want like I'm Taylor. My back kind of white like Taylor. Sweet. Taylor! Yeah. We're back at TE Talks and take a look at what you see. We have, tell me what you want, um, Fabio Foran saying that he is single-handedly bringing back Mace's career. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at T Talks, where we're going to dive into Mace going on the damn million dollars worth of game podcast alongside Fabio Foran. However, not alongside, Fabio Foran went first and then Mace went after to defend his damn name. So let's get into it. Fabio Foran went on the a million dollars worth the game podcast. This is something I've already heard Fabio say, right? That he got signed for five thousand dollars. Now let's, let's keep it stack, right? He got signed by Mace by five thousand dollars, and he's uh, five thousand dollars. He's complaining that he's still signed to Mace, right? Now I need a lot of unsigned artists to understand because I've actually signed an artist and it didn't work out, right? They think that you're just supposed to like want to leave, like let them go live life once they get popping, right? Mace is Mace. And at the time, Fabio Foran, according to Mace, was just a hood dude in the streets that didn't have a direction, or not didn't have a direction, but you know, he needed some, some help to get to that next level, right? And I wholeheartedly believe that that's exactly what happened. That $5,000 is not a lot of money, but if you can do like Young Thug said he took like $20,000 deal, right? Recouped and was able to, you know, build on and build on from there, okay? So $5,000, yes. It's, it's something that can definitely go by fast, right? But if you're using it the right way and if you're trying to go in with a thought process, then maybe you can make make good use of it, right? Boom. $5,000, however, though, I am going to say it's not a lot of money to work with as an artist, especially if you don't know really what you're doing that much. But, you know, Fabio went ahead and dropped the contract, which to me really means nothing because at the end of the day, you signed it. So I think artists need to stop trying to have us feel sympathy for the fact that you signed the contract. Like that's something that I don't appreciate that artists be doing, right? So, and then they use the excuse of I was young, I didn't know what was going on. That's not the label's fault, right? The label's fault is not to make sure that you know what's going on. And I think that artists need to stop feeling that way. Like they, they, they like, you know, and I'm a creative as well, but I'm also a businessman. So I get the art of business and getting somebody to sign something that maybe is not in, the, in their best interest. Because at the end of the day, you're also giving them a platform. Mace was giving Fabio Foreign a platform that he did not have at that moment, right? That monetary level is, was not something that's going to last very long. However, he put him in a position to continue to move forward, okay? So when it comes to that interview, he said what he said. And then Mace responded by like, yo, you're messing up some of my business dealings by making it seem like I'm a bad guy, right? Because they're like, yo, P. Diddy messed you up, Mace. Now you're trying to mess up Fabio Foreign. Why are you doing that? And, and Mace like, yo, why would I do that, right? So he did sign him $5,000, but then he gave him, there was like a, a, a several hundred thousand dollars that was taken by a person that was involved in a situation who was a police officer. Now, I am not involved in gang politics. I don't give a damn that he was a police officer. What I give a damn about was that there was more money involved that Fabio Foreign is not referencing, that he probably didn't even know of because he's just the artist in that situation. Artists think that they know everything that's going on or they would like to know everything that's going on, but you can't. You're the, you're the talent. There's a back end of things going on behind you. Okay. And I ain't gonna lie to you. When you get that cosign, that cosign, it may come with some, some certain caveats. Okay. You still sign to this day in whatever shape or form because at the end of the day, Mace gave you that connection. Okay. You, you know, people, people take the connection to allow them to get on and then they want to just leave the person to help them get there, right? AKA Mandy Stallion in her situation as well. And then they get upset that the label's like, yo bro, now you're popping, now I get to finally eat off of what we did in the beginning and now you don't want to help me eat, right? And, but now I guess Fabio's actually trying to help him eat because now he's coming out with a remix of Tell Me What You Want, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't know if he's made it seem like that's hurting Mace, you know, cause Mace starts to clear the song. And then if Mace does clear the song, if he owns the masters, I don't know. But whoever has to clear the song is gonna clear the song. and then what? Mace gonna get money. So I guess maybe that's your way of uh, paying your respects. I don't know. I don't know. Like when I seen the video of Fabio kind of like uh, saying that he has a song dropping, which I think is, is gonna be a fire song. I think it sounds it's not fire, right? I think it's in his bag too, you know, but it's like, I guess maybe that's his repayment for Mace saying that Fabio stole the viral bow like Mace make, 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 make it seem like Fabio stole his whole drip <laughs> and Fabio making this song is not making it any better but hey at least now Mace got again an extra 15 minutes I will say all in all if Fabio's trying to make it seem like he gave Mace an extra, extra 15 minutes of fame 
I'm gonna have to agree. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna cap you, bro. I don't even think I knew what Maze looked like. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it out there, bro. I don't even think I knew what Maze looked like till now, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a stack. But let me know in the comments down below, did Fabio Foreign give Mace an extra 15 minutes or did Mace really make Fabio's whole career? Let's get into it in the comment section down below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. So you know every time we drop a new damn video, okay, make sure you go ahead and follow EBN Music Media on Instagram as well as on TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor Eljass, and you're watching T Talks. We need to go sit down and meet him. I'm saying I ain't gonna lie, he just pulled out the paper and I just signed the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like immediately. You, you so so was it no lawyer, no shit, no nothing? Nah. The the nigga who bought me to him. He was saying, he was like, yo, man, just sign that shit. You bugging. I'm like, yeah, read it. He like, all right, just sign it. It's good. I'm so I just signed it. Okay. And was it an advance, anything? It was just like. Yeah, the advance, $5,000. $5,000? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, 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 he signed you for $5,000. That's all a nigga gave you? That's all he gave me. I 5000 was a lot. To, it, 5000 hit when, when that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit hit. That's so the same I, thing Nori said. I thought that shit was going to last till whenever that shit was yeah. going to last till. That shit ain't last two weeks. Two weeks. Or... And, how, and listen, but how long was the contract? You still had your rights I'm still now. in the contract right now. You know, Mace know the business. You know what I'm saying? He know he really know the business a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, did, like, so I didn't know nothing. I just was signing. He was like, yo. He was like,